I'm okay. <coughs> y'all, y'all, like, we, we gotta start with the ciphers, okay? We gotta... We gotta start with the BTS ciphers, okay? I'm liable to cry. You might as well accept what's about to happen. BTS does that whole hip hop thing, which we all know. But when it comes to these ciphers, when it come to these damn ciphers, them boys be them boys be coming for edges, scalps, bloodlines, histrionics, any and everything that you have, they're coming to get. So we have had the beautiful benefit of four ciphers thus far. And I vividly remember talking on Twitter to some Miguelas pre-KCON New York. And I'm like, man, I need them to play one of the ciphers. I need them to play Cypher Part 2. I know it's throwback. And they're like, mmm, Part 2? That's cute because Part 3 is better. And I'm like, well, no, you know, I mean, I, I like it. But that's because it hadn't grown on me. And that's also because I had not seen them do it live yet. My life is in shambles still to this day. So, what I want you to know about the ciphers is that each cipher has a star. With the very first cipher, it's nice. It sets us up for how the ciphers work. Oh, okay, we kick it off with Rap Ma, we have J-Hope, and we end with Sugar. Or, oh, we have J-Hope give you some words, and then we got Rap Ma, and then we end with Sugar. What I need you to know, ladies and gentlemen, is that it ends with Sugar, okay? It ends with Sugar. But that does not always mean he is the star of the cipher. It's just he's the one they can't control. So... With the first cipher, what makes it interesting is not the production because it was low quality and the sample was okay. It wasn't that much of an intriguing beat. It was the delivery and the star of that one was Rapmon. First and foremost, this is the first time we've ever had any artists in the K-pop, hip-hop uh, genre do a cipher. Do a freestyle track, a throwaway track. So that was exciting in and of itself, but he was the star of that one. With Cypher Part 2... Rap Ma and Sugar was neck to neck, but it belongs to Sugar. Rap Ma shocked all of us because he came out of nowhere with English, and then you thought he said, When you fucking my bitch, which is not what he said. He says, Bring your fucking mic, bitch. I know a lot of y'all probably was like, Oh my gosh, he just cursed up some girl. I didn't think Rap Ma didn't. That's not what he said. So I just clarified that for you if you never went back and looked at it to really figure out for yourself. <clears throat> but he's coming back from the things he addressed in the first one. And he's like, I still got some stuff to say, but I'm not the champion here. We're going to get this to Sugar. And Sugar rip slashes and bedazzles the hell out of that track. And then if you go to Cypher 3, <laughs> if you go to Cypher 3, it's J-Hope. They put him in the middle. And he real smooth about what he got to say. We got a little bit of some cutesy wootsy in there. But he wins that track. And then Cypher 4, it goes back to Rap Mind. Because he trying to let y'all know, I just love myself. I have no time for this. So, <sighs> we're going to listen to the things that make each Cypher a win. Again, the first Cypher, it was all about Rap Mind's delivery. Not so much the production. Cypher 2, that beat was disgusting. None of us was ready. We thought it was going to be some little... Boom, doom, doom, boom, boom, doom, and it didn't do that. It slowed down. It got dirty. It got disrespectful. People's feelings was hurt. They had to turn the music off. Christina is here. <laughs> Christina is here dying on the floor. They had to turn the music off and, and like stop Sugar at all costs. And then Cypher 3, that whole beat is just... Let's do this, y'all. Let's. I can't anymore. I simply cannot with myself. Oh, yeah, okay. We've totally gotten into it now. But I don't want YouTube to snatch this down. So you need to go ahead and click the link in the description so that you can watch the fullness of this straight on Periscope. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Bye, y'all.